Hello, this is Not a Spring Chicken. The big news today is unemployment rolls drop. 2,000 people! Yay! Now, if that isn't enough reason to cheer. Oh, so we tell you what's actually behind those numbers? Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Hey, don't worry. That Monty took him down the street. She dragged him down the street and left him in somebody else's driveway. Oh, good for Monty. Tell her she's got some extra croutons. <laughs> if you keep talking like that, she's going to come out. And court orders immediate halt to gay military service ban. Yeah, it, it, it's nationally, it's the, it's the California courts that did it, the most liberal court in the nation. That uh, it, this is not what, okay. The Republicans have been had once again by the Obama administration. Supposedly Obama was going to support the what the Joint Chiefs of Staff wants, and he was going to fight it. He's going to give them the chance to implement. And now he said the holder said, "Well, since the court has now ordered it, we will have to go to the bend to the will of the court and not what the Joint Chiefs of Staff wanted." Mm. I mean, the guy he totally doesn't give a damn about anything except the left wing causes, folks. Casey Anthony declared not guilty, but declared guilty by everybody else. Well, I know. Okay. Uh, it, 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 what happened was the press didn't get the verdict they wanted, which I'm going to have a discussion about that in a few minutes. But it just if you hold a kangaroo court, sometimes the public doesn't like the fact of what you're doing, and they basically negate it all. Mm-hmm. And Geithner Mull's uh, departing Treasury post. Oh, he, they're now saying, Obama says, at no time have I ever heard him say he didn't want to stay. Well, he's, he's, in the, he's, at the, he's the engineer of a trail wreck, of a train wreck. You want to get off that train before it wrecks, and it's coming, folks, because the, remember, whatever they do, they got to do it again in, tw in about six months because Obama is, okay, they're going to extend the that we're borrowing by $2 trillion, he's spending nearly $3 trillion. And Obama offers to cut Social Security, Medicare as part of deal. And he, okay, here I heard him say this morning, the Republican Democrats said, you can't get 40 Democrats in the House to, uh, you know, to agree to end the fellow. You can't get 60, yeah, we basically you have to have um, 16 Democrats join with the Republicans to end the filibuster, and I didn't know it happened because that you can't, uh, that 40 Democrats are going to stand firm no matter what on saving Medicare. They already said it. You know, we have to cut the, we have to raise the taxes on the wealthy. We have to cut those tax breaks out because we, the Republicans are only there for the wealthy. They want to hurt the people on Social Security and Medicare. Well, in 2025, mm -hmm. this is, folks, this is 2011. 2025 is 14 years from now. That's when the changes would take place. That's a long time. Yeah. Oh, in fact, a lot of those people will no longer be here. That's right. Most of the people... Oh, then the cost might go down. They, they said, no, it has no effect on anybody retiring between now and 2025. Fourteen years of no changes on them. It only has effects on the people that won't be retiring until after 2025. Ah. See? And Google Ads is EMR service. Because nothing, most of what Google, okay, most of these people are casting out their stuff because none of it works. Like What is right? EMR? I don't even know what that is. Electronic, re electronic metering thing where they basically can monitor your power stuff. It's a green oh. thing that we, you know, we heard them talking about it, the Consumer Electronics Association thing. All of them are abandoning it because nobody cares about what's going on in your house if you're not there. Mm -hmm. But they thought that was a, well, everybody's going to go green to save energy. No, they want to come home with a house that's cool or a house that's warm. Mm -hmm. An ATF director says he didn't know about gun sting operation. Uh, then somebody gave the orders. They fired the guy that blew the whistle. They're firing the head, of, they got to dump the head of the union for helping to blow the whistle. But it seems that absolutely nobody gave the orders for all of that to happen. Isn't that amazing? Oh. It doesn't happen except from the highest because you can't get your hands on automatic weapons unless you're way at the top, folks. And forecasters, summer flooding could rival the worst in U.S. history. Yeah, but see, the whole trick is you have to understand we're talking that global warming is causing this, yet the worst in the history happened before global warming. And if, you know, we're rivaling the worst that happened, and the worst that happened happened before the so-called global warming. And Syrian dissidents allowed to meet in Damascus. Yeah, and then they killed them all. I love that. The military shot them all. 
Oh, really? Yeah. And prosecutor refuses to leave Strauss-Kahn case despite request. No, it's the, it's the woman. It's, the woman has committed perjury to everybody. She's demanding. She wants a special prosecutor to try the guy. Uh, so basically, they said, I, I heard them saying, we're talking, the most liberal of the people said, this woman could not win. It's a matter of, it doesn't make any difference, no matter what happened. She could not win in any court in the world. They laugh her out of court. Well, uh, did you use this, uh, you know, did you use these charges multiple times against that? Well, yes. Do you have $10 million in your bank account? And that bank account fluctuates, you know, $100,000 at a time, and yet you're, uh, yes. They said, did you lie to the grand jury? Yes. Did you lie to the prosecutor? Yes. Did you lie to the police? Yes. Did you lie to the uh, State Department? Yes. Did you lie to the immigration people? Yes. Did you lie on your employment visa? Yes. Mm -hmm. So why should they think she's telling the truth about anything else? She's never told the truth about anything. And TFED's Bullard, QE, effective proxy for rate cuts. Uh, I know. The, 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 I don't know how they can cut the, the rates any more than what they are cutting it on. You know, there's basically it's almost zero now. I love this. The, uh, the Fed's rate's almost zero and nobody's borrowing any money because you can't get a bank to bar lend you money because the Obama administration would throw you in jail if you lend somebody money for a business. Mm. And as recovery, oh, that's true, they do get like that, don't they? Yeah. In fact, even when you apply for a loan, they don't always tell you. <laughs> I mean, they, they just keep doing limbo. They don't get, they, I mean, they, well, they don't even keep you in limbo, they just don't even talk to you. I know. That's a few bit, we know. As recovery lands, corporations prosper and lobby for more. I know. Uh, here's the problem is, is that the money is phony, people. Um, I can uh, look at who, okay, here's the way it works is, when trading is light, the market goes up. When trading is heavy, the market goes down. And when the trading is light, it's almost always among companies that the government has controls over. Mm. Which and means Obama's artificially jacking the market up. And Senator calls for probe of nuke evacuation plans. Okay. I know the Democrats are wanting to shut down all the nuclear reactors. We shut down, I think, 25% of the power in our country in order to, well, you know, you might have something, yeah. You also might have uh, the, a flood the size of Noah's Ark happening the day after tomorrow. Uh, and you might have the sun flying out of orbit. You know, uh, you know, might have is no reason to do anything. It isn't? Nope. And Greek lawmakers back reforms and clear weight for more aid. Okay, technically they defaulted yesterday. I, I love this. Well, if, if you use a default, the world will come to an end. Well, the Greek government defaulted yesterday. And you know what? The world didn't come to the an end? The world didn't come to an end. Portugal is getting ready to default. And Spain is getting ready to default. And, uh, and, uh, and Ireland is getting ready to default. And you know what? It's going to be. And the world isn't going to come to an end when any of that happens. Um. Because they're just simply, you know, treating it as business as usual. Mm -hmm. They borrow money to operate the government. They spend money they don't have, and everybody's happy. And co-founder Biz Stone leaving Twitter. Because there's actually no way they can, they've not been able to figure out how to monetize Twitter. Any more than you can monetize Facebook. What they're doing is they're selling spots, you know, uh, the, you know before you come there or something, they'll see something in the corner that says, you know, oh, the Pirates of the Caribbean hit a, trail, uh, a billion dollars. Are are the the for plugging the special viewings of uh, Harry Potter? That's how they're picking up money at the moment. But people don't pay any attention to those things. And U.S. caught China buying more debt than disclosed. Yeah, because that's how they do business. They're buying up our debt so that they can get order Obama to do whatever they want him to do. <laughs> well, like, okay, here's a big deal. Obama is a socialist of the Chinese design, not of the Soviet design. And who is selling? Who is he selling all our debt to? Oh, really? Yeah. He, he remember his his work. His uh, staff is composed of a lot of people that quote Mao Zedong continually. Uh, well, yeah. that's probably good for China. Eight and a half billion dollar settlement on securities. This is getting to be ridiculous, folks. First of all. Uh, they have no control over the market going down when you sell security. When you, okay, homes are sold. People buy the notes on homes. You expect that the thing will go up in value when you buy the note. But they said, well, this, these organizations 
should have known that everything was going to go backwards. Well, no. They should have known that if you elect a Democrat to office, he's going to try to raise taxes. <laughs> so, and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, the only, you know, the only problem with getting old, the only thing you have to look forward to is getting older, if you're lucky.